bright this morning isn't it Gem? Yeah I think we need to sort of uh, have a day or two in the garden get it put right for the start of summer and also we've got Abigail's strawberry plants down here in the little veg bed what were they? Delia Delia yeah so they've spread the original plant. We've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, maybe ten, eleven. I don't think that one's going to survive. Ten or eleven strawberries. So if we get them up now and pop them into a nice little planter, Abigail might be picking strawberries for Wimbledon. Let's hope so. Anyway. It's a lovely day, cracking Friday, I'm not hungover, which is always great news. Let's uh, have this little espresso and then shoot in to work. Good morning, Gabby Gale. Oh, what a lovely day. Somebody's left the beer out, look. Look at that. Oh, and they've been putting fags out on my nice new tables. Yay. Need to get some ashtrays sorted then. Otherwise that's going to happen, isn't it? Oh, what a view, folks. I know, but people are stupid, aren't they, sweetheart? That's the trouble. So I'm just going to go and have a look for my Harrison's Brewery hat, beanie. I left it in the pub last night. I'm hoping that it's in here still. We shall see. If not, I'm going to go next door and speak to Sharon and get a load printed. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yes. That's perfect. Sorry, Chance. And do you want to come in, bud? Go on, get out of the bar from behind the bar. Whoa, look at that lot boys and girls, just look at that lot, that's quite a selection wouldn't you admit, oh yes, that's a, that's a good thumbnail right there that is, check it out, anyway, I digress, what I want to show you actually is the chillers in the cellar because it's these chillers that we're going to be using to cool the cold room I think everyone's curious as to how we're going to actually do that so I'll give you a little talk about the plan behind it behind it all let's get ourselves in here there's one door there's the other door right so, this is the chillers. Index 21, water cooled, vision, max ice. I'll have to speak up over the top of the uh, extractor fan, or cooling fan. So how these work is they have an ice bath on the inside. And that ice bath freezes and the beer this might be a better shot. Oh, that one's pretty, pretty warm as well. But the beer goes through these pipes, which are submerged in the ice bath, getting flash chilled. So what you can do is get rid of this pipe work, just have the pump in the centre, and we'll fill the whole bath up with glycol, and then pump the glycol out here, and pump it to some car radiators hung on the walls in the coolers, and then we'll put a fan behind those car radiators to blow the cold around the little cold room and then obviously once the cold's gone the pipes the glycol will then have picked the heat up that's inside the cold room and it'll bring that back here 
where again it will be exchanged for cold glycol, cooling that glycol all the time. And then the heat that's formed, that's created in here, can then get piped out via these pipes here. Now they operate from a plate heat exchanger in there. And that plate heat exchanger, I don't know if you can see it through the grill, but that plate heat exchanger then carries the hot glycol all the way through here, look. And then we take it outside, past this lot, and that finally finishes at this heat exchanger, which is on now. And what that's doing then is releasing the heat, essentially, from the cold room, but on this situation from the chiller, it's releasing the heat into the environment. Thus meaning, we have taken the heat out of that glycol and dumped it elsewhere. So it's basically just a heat pump. So we'll install one of those next to or on top of the cold room and we'll fill the whole thing up with a glycol bath and we'll just pump the glycol around. And I think it'll be a, a perfect cooling solution and considerably cheaper than one of those. They're two and a half grand. Don't have the money to install one of those at the moment. One of those Index 21s, eBay, maybe four or five hundred quid. Comprehensive solution. Well, I see he's ready to put some more beers on the rack as well. We're not doing too bad, are we? Oh, had a moment there with the SD card. It's playing up a little bit. Let's hope this doesn't cut out today. It's a 256 gig SD card in here, and I don't really want to have to buy another one. Anyway, I'll repeat myself in case the camera didn't pick it up. I just want to talk quickly about the hats. So I've been to see Sharon next door. She's the uh, lady who does all the printing and whatnot for us. We bought these hats a couple of weeks back. And the reason I've not made them available to anybody yet is because we're running them through the paces and what we found is the embroidery gets a little bit lost after a while in the fluff and lint of the weave on the material the hat's made out of. So we've ordered a couple of samples in of a tighter weave hat and hopefully we'll run that uh, through the machine and we'll see how they come out but if they're any good I'm going to order 30 or so and it'll be like a first come first serve basis on here and uh, we'll send them out to everybody uh, and you just have to pay for the hat and shipping simple I, I might be able to get it into a second class envelope as well so it should be pretty cheap um, because they are relatively small right so yeah that's a uh, bit of exciting news on the apparel front we're getting a lot closer in terms of the cold room as well uh, we've almost used up all of the 50 mil sheets so I'm hoping that there's just enough left to fill in the gaps of which there aren't many we've got like a hole here and a hole down in the bottom corner in each cell so uh, we'll just cut well we've got lots of this though look at the size of these offcuts so we'll just cut the pieces that we need to fill those gaps and then hopefully we can put a bit of foam insulation in all the uh, joints to seal it up and then cut these big pink boards for the doors. I think what I'm going to have to do with these is maybe put a bit of plywood on them to stiffen them up a little bit uh, and to make sure they don't get damaged in daily use and also some edges, we'll see, make a box around them, but I think I'm just going to do them as lift on lift off doors, not going to hinge them. Let's get cutting.
result of uh, preventing buses from going underneath the bridge. And what happens is that you've got what a you a U-turn or some sort of three-point turn or reversal I mean, back to the mini roundabout that you've just come through or finding somewhere else. Um, and there is nowhere else apart from going through the bus gate and getting fined. Yeah, so you, you did you make a choice to go through and get fined or were you not even clear that it wasn't allowed? Well, I wasn't at, at both actually because, um, first of all, the bus gate isn't in the highway code. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Another huge amount of jobs completed again. We've got all the cold room put together. I've also faffed around with that shelf for a while. This one here, look. We got it up. Stainless steel shelf. Doesn't freaking fix. I've got the rollers there. But never mind. I'll give it a little bit of a jiggling about later on. Ready, bud? Yeah. So you can see all these cubicles. One, two, three and four all full and ready to receive the cooling gubbins when we find one i've not had a look yet for one so at the moment stuart's going to see some friends so he's had to hire a car this afternoon we're going to go and drop him off to pick that up and then uh, pick up some terracotta flower pots to use as ashtrays for the beer garden because somebody stubbed a fag out on my table. And uh, then when I've done that, well, that's it, home time, buddy. So if I don't see you before, I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.